I want you to take your phone and I want you to DM, text, whatever it is, message every person, go to your contact list and ask every single person if they need their hair done. Everybody, every person. Now go to your Instagram, DM every person if they want their hair done. Go to your Facebook, message every person if they want their hair done. Guys, if you're struggling right now and you aren't making money and you have rent to pay for your suite or for your salon, you're gonna wanna make sure you're asking every single person that tell them about your service. If you're not doing that, you don't care about being busy. When we first started doing hair back in the old days of like the 90s, right? We would have three business cards we would hand out to people. And then you would literally be at a bar and ask every person and tell them you do hair. Why aren't you telling people you do hair? Social media is great. You're posting on your platform. That's fantastic. Every party you go to, every barbecue you go to, everything you do in your life, you should be telling them that you do hair and you should be collecting their information. You got the whole business card thing, honestly, it's stupid. So if you're wasting money on business cards, don't waste your money on business cards. Like just, you don't need business cards. It doesn't make you a business person because you have a business card. You have a cell phone. When you meet somebody new, oh, hey, Jen, you know, I do hair, right? Oh, no, I, I need new hairstyles. I'm, my color's brassy. My haircut sucks. Oh, if you like, what's your number? I'll text you right now. You get their number. You text the person. That way you can follow up with them. It's genius. Like, why are you just giving your number out or giving a card? They're never going to call you. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of paper. Get the person's contact info. Follow them on the social media platform. Make sure you have a way to reach back out to that person again to get them in your salon. Today's day and age, with technology the way it is, there's no need for anyone to not be able to build a business in the salon industry within a matter of, I don't know, six months to a year. Do you know what I used to do? When I used to go to, um, when I first started out doing hair, I would take my business cards because they were important then because we didn't have cell phones. I would go to Barnes and Noble and I would go to the Cosmo magazine and the, and the haircut magazines that were out. And I would put like four or five business cards in each one of the magazines at the Barnes and Nobles and the Borders and the bookstores and the quick checks and, the, and the, like the convenience stores. I would slam my business card in all the magazines. And that's what I did when I was busy. They, I didn't have social media. I had to market one way to, how to have people find me somehow. So that's what I did. And I used to get clients from that. Like I would ask clients how they heard about me and they would be like, oh, I bought a magazine and your advertisement was in there. I was like, my advertisement? I was like, oh, my business card. And I built the book. I, I did that. Like that's how I got clients. It worked. So today you don't need to drive around to all the stores. You have Google reviews. You have Yelp reviews. You have social media. You have Facebook. You have your clients in your salon. Make sure you're messaging them after the, after the service. Make sure you're emailing them. Make sure you're talking to them. If you're a salon owner, this is your responsibility. Teach this to your team. This is your responsibility. If you're taking commission from somebody, if you're taking a commission and you're giving them 50-50 or 45-55, whatever the commission structure is, it's your duty to help fill those chairs. It's 100% a shared responsibility, but it's your duty to lead the way. If you're a leader, you should be leading the way on how they get clients in the salon. And then with your efforts and the client and the stylist efforts, you guys will be successful. But imagine you ask 20 of your favorite clients and imagine you gave them a gift card for your salon and you ask them their friend's name and you put the gift card in the friend's name so it could only be used for them. And all 20 people gave the gift card away and all three people out of the 20 came in. That's 60 new clients. And imagine you did that again with all new 60. It's 180 new clients. You just tripled, quadrupled your revenue for the year. So it's so important that you guys don't drop the ball on the referral business and on the rewards and all the other programs that are easy for you to implement with your booking software and with Google. So if you guys want more information on that and how that works and how that functions, I want you guys to DM me reviews and I'll help you build your business. I'll give you some tips and then we'll see if you're actually a good fit for the program to get involved so you can learn the strategies that I'm teaching other salon owners and suite owners just like you how to build a scalar business.